Caleb decides to go home because she knows he'll be mad. And that was one of the last decisions she ever made. Yes. A decision that led to her death. Yes. What do you think happened? What do you think happened when she walked back in there that night? Maybe they got into an argument because she knew Connor well enough that he was going to be upset with her. And maybe Kaylin said something like, I might just go back home. I can't handle this obsessiveness or you getting mad because I go to Terre Haute to see my friends. Maybe that was just it for Kaylin. And she's like, I'm done, Connor. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. When was the last time you saw Kaylin? Um, her and Leslie went to the Cover Bridge Festival. I came home from work and she's like, oh, dad, it's nice to see you. And I said, you too, sweetie. And she goes, well, I can't stay very long. And I do remember she turned around and she goes, don't forget I have a phone, you can call me anytime. And I said, well, I have a phone too. I said, you can call me. And then we just both laughed. What was the last thing you said to her? Well, we had spent the day at the Cover Bridge Festival, had a beautiful day together, shopped like we did and we had fun. We bought these incense candles and when we got home, we popped them onto the coffee table and we bought like 10 of them and we were smelling them and we were, I was cutting them in half so we could share them. She said, well, I better get back. I said, well, honey, dad's gonna be home. I said, I want you to stay here so you can see dad. And she said, well, Connie will get mad at me so I better go back. And I was very aggravated with that. And I said, Kaylin, you know, if he gets upset about that, then that's just wrong. So she decided she's gonna stick around. But, you know, she was always afraid that he was gonna get angry. And what was the last thing you said to her when she left? I said, I love you. And I said, I love spending time with my baby girl. I gave her a big hug and a kiss. I said, drive carefully. How did y'all find out that she was deceased? We had two police officers come to our home. It was Halloween. They came to the house and they came in and they said, are you Mr. Whitaker? And Dave says, yes. And uh, he goes, and your daughter is Kaylin Whitaker? And he says, yes. He said, well, I'm really sorry to tell you this, but Kaylin is deceased. And um, I, you know, I, I stood there. I couldn't, I couldn't really move. I was just like in shock when I heard that. And it, it's just like very surreal to you. You know what I mean? And as they continued to talk, I could just see their mouths moving and I couldn't hear anything. And then I walked out the back door and I collapsed to the ground and screamed over and over again. And did they tell you what had happened? They didn't know. They just knew she passed away. They didn't know anything. I, I guessed it was a car wreck. <clears throat> and those two, they, even the younger cop, who they, they were really nice. They stayed at the house for almost two hours trying to get a hold of the coroner and to the sheriff over there because they wanted to know what happened too. But they didn't know anything. She just know, they just knew she passed away. And w when you found out how she had really died, how did you find that out? I had called um, his mother and I said, what happened? I remember saying that. And she said, Kaylin shot herself. And I said, what? And she said, Kaylin shot herself. And she repeated again. And I said, I don't understand this. I, I don't under, I really don't understand what you're saying here. And she said, well, that's what we were told. They weren't home when all this happened. So by the time they got back to the house, it was already roped off. And she gets on the phone and says, Kaylin shot herself. And I said, how do you know that? And she said, that's what they told me. I said, that's what who told you? She said, them guys here. And I said, I don't believe you. I said, I'm trying to get a hold of the coroner or I'm trying to get a hold of the sheriff. I said, I have to go. I said, I can't talk to you no more. I don't believe what you're telling me. And I hung up on her. Well, did you ever find out who she was talking about? No. There was a hysterical caller requesting an ambulance and the caller, this was Connor. What was his story about what happened that night? What did he tell 911? We haven't heard that. We yet. haven't heard any evidence. We haven't heard any of the details as far as the confession goes or the 911 call or anything like that yet. We just got the transcript yesterday. 